Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of May 27th through June 2nd, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a card here for your overall energy for the week and then advice for the week and we will build your reading from there. So Virgo, let's see what Spirit has in store for you guys this week. Okay, uh-oh, we have some deception. Beware, Virgo. Be on your guard. Trust your intuition. Look under every stone. Anything feels a little bit off. Don't overlook it. Don't, you know, because a lot of times when we get a feeling about something, we just think we're being dramatic or we're like, mm, that doesn't mean anything. Or if it's something that we don't want or don't want to hear, then we're really rejecting of it, right? Um, also, this could be where you are... Uh, observing or hearing about some deception playing out somewhere it might not be directly affecting you it might be going on somewhere around you and you're just kind of observing so let's see Virgo what is the advice with this deception okay awakening someday somewhere anywhere unfailingly you will find yourself and that and only that can be the happiest or bitterest hour of your life hoo hoo and that's card five five is change and challenge so virgo what i see with this is you are about to come into some information this week okay um this could be where maybe somebody was intentionally deceptive towards you in the past and now it's coming out this week or there's things that you know about where somebody hasn't been on the up and up and spirits just bringing that truth to the surface and you're kind of observing, okay? But no matter what, there's an awakening happening in you as the truth is revealed to you or you're watching the truth be revealed to others that you have been unable to express yourself or it's not your place. You know, there's different reasons why um, we can't always just put out there what we know, right? So very deep, Virgo. Let's see. Let's pull some dice. Okay, so we have the lovers, head and heart decision right there, um, the eight of swords feeling really blocked and restricted, like I can't say what I know, and then the emperor could potentially be with an Aries, so you could be, this could involve a Gemini or an Aries with these two dice coming out. Now, Virgo, what I see here is, um, some of you, this is a head and heart decision where you know something, but you are unable to express it or share what you know for whatever reason, okay? Maybe for the ramifications that will come out of it. Um, maybe somebody that you don't want to get in trouble or get hurt would get hurt. You know, there's just something about this where some of you, you know something, but you are very restricted in your ability to express it. And you go back and forth, like, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, okay? Um, others of you, what I feel is there may be an opportunity being presented to you, and you have to be really hush-hush about it, like, keep it behind the scenes and not really uh, be forward or tell anybody what you're really doing, okay? Because there's an element of secrecy, um, restriction, and holding back here. So this could be like something really good comes your way and you've got to keep it under wraps for whatever reason or um, you, like I said, you know something but you're not sharing it or this could be where some information that has been withheld from you, Virgo, is now finally going to come into your world this week and you're going to come into a big time clarity and understanding. Okay, woo, look at that. We've got the high priestess. Um, so you've got head and heart, but then your intuition, Virgo, your intuition, your spirit might be telling you something completely different than what your head or your heart is advising. Um, and look at this nice ace of swords. You're going to break through this restriction, whatever it is. Ten of wands, very heavy burden you've been carrying. Okay, 
Virgo, listen. Again, I stand strong with there's, uh, for some of you, there's like this opportunity, this rendezvous, this something special. But it's like you can't tell a certain person or you can't tell certain people about it for whatever reason. And it doesn't have to be like malicious secret keeping, okay? I'm not talking about that. Maybe for some of you, it, you got to keep it quiet for some reasons, okay? But um, it doesn't have to be like negative and malicious. Um, some of you, there is just something coming your way. And um, you've got to keep it under wraps. you got to keep it quiet. But it's very positive for you, okay? Um, again, for others of you, this is where you have known about something and it's been a heavy burden. It's been a heavy weight for you, maybe. And now, again, there's it's coming out somehow, some way, naturally. Like, you don't have to, you're not the catalyst of it. Although, um, you are aware before most other people are. Um, also, this information coming to light, this could be where you've had a, a sense about it. Okay, and now boom, this week, here it is coming to the surface. And um, this could be in the workplace, you know, with the emperor here, or it could be in the family unit. Um, you know, lovers, maybe this could be romantic, but I tend to stay away from that in weeklies. And I just, um, I feel this is more like in the workplace, in the family, like something like that, where this information would come to light. And um, just because we have High Priestess now, I feel like some of you have had a sense about it. All right, Nine of Wands. Uh, temperance. And lastly, the Knight of Swords. Yup, Virgo. This energy, um, there's some distortion when there's deception involved, okay? And however that's playing out, um, whether it's somebody else's deception that you're aware of, um, or, you know, this is where now information is coming to light, it's seriously, uh, I feel like this is a long time coming with this nine and ten of wands showing up and then with this ace and this uh, ace of swords and this knight of swords uh, yeah Virgo it's like somebody else is gonna blow the whistle and you don't have to but it like creates an opportunity for you so if this is like some scandal at work maybe somebody like loses their job over this which in turn opens up an opportunity for you and you know whoever is like getting in trouble or losing their job like they've done something to deserve that like there's some deception they've been dirty or shady about something not doing something right and um, when all that comes out for some of you that could create a new avenue a new opportunity for you or it could be where you are approached um, by management saying hey Virgo um, we would like to offer you this position or this elevation or give you these extra responsibilities because we're going to have to let, you know, X, Y, Z go maybe for confidential reasons that they don't disclose at that time or maybe they tell you the whole story. Who knows? It just depends on your current level, where you are in your company. Um, but that could definitely be playing out for some of you. And... Um, you know, I get this sense that some Virgos, this is a person you're not really a fan of. And so it's like no tears shed to see them, you know, escorted out the door. Um, now, if this is playing out in the family, what I feel is this truth coming to light actually creates a new beginning, a breakthrough, an opportunity within the family connection, the family unit to heal and move forward. Um, for others of you, Virgo, I feel like some of you may, again, there's like this opportunity or something that has come your way and you keep it quiet or this is where there's something brewing in your world, maybe even a pregnancy for some of you and you haven't been telling, but this week it's like you're going to finally put it out there. Hey, I'm pregnant. Hey, I'm moving to this place. Hey, I'm leaving you. You know, whatever it is. But up to this point, it's you've really kept it quiet, kept it on the down low. And again, 
those of you where there's just this very interesting, unique, rare opportunity that comes your way, if you have to be quiet about it, seriously, be quiet about it until it's the right time um, to tell anybody. Very high significance of that because it might slip out. Um, you might tell a person you think you could trust and then before you know it's back to you and it's just a big old mess, okay? So if it's something like that, just wait for the right and proper time. Trust nobody with your secrets. Okay, so let's pull some more cards, Virgo. Okay. Unseen path, challenging person, yep, some of you are going to be happy to see somebody go when the truth comes out, sadness, inform yourself, and waiting, okay, yep, Virgo, um, those of you in the situation where you just, you're dealing with some jerk or you just know something, but you can't say. I feel like it's coming out, and you've been waiting. Like, uh, um, there's just something coming out. You don't see it coming out this week, but it does, okay? It really does. And um, I feel if there is a challenging person in your life, in the workplace, that brings you a lot of sadness, Spirit is saying, inform yourself. Trust your intuition. Follow that through, and you're going to find out some deceptive information about them okay um it's just be have all senses aware and open this week virgo because there are so many different scenarios that are coming through with how this could play out um it's overwhelming me a little bit actually so what i feel for you the most important thing is this what you know um, either wait for the moment and you'll know spirit will set it up for you before you say anything or or if that doesn't happen spirit's going to bring it to light through another avenue okay um, things that you want to come out to light that irritate you that make you angry that you know about other people but you've been so restricted like it's just coming out I don't know Virgo it's like truth is revealed this week and um you, I feel, have been waiting for this moment, for whatever that means. It's like you've been waiting for this moment, and there's some opportunity, some door that's opening for you due to all of this coming to light, coming out. So very, very interesting reading, Virgo, actually. Um, you'll have to comment and let me know like what this is because... It, even though like some of you may not like this truth, if it's something you're not aware of, ultimately, Virgo, I'm telling you, it somehow opens a door for you. It really does. And anywhere you are, are having an off feeling, you're suspicious, anything, inform yourself. Dig deeper and you will find why you are getting that off sense, that off feeling. Okay, effort. Yep. And spotlight. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Virgo. <clears throat> Something is going to be revealed this week. Okay, Let, next card out would be gratitude. So again, it's not... I don't feel it's really negative towards you whatsoever. Um, if anything, if it is, it's like it. What it, the way it comes out, whatever happens, ultimately opens a door for you and ha allows you to shed something that should not be there in the first place. That's kind of holding you down or holding you back, and maybe you didn't realize it. And then this truth comes out. The truth sets you free, and you move on to bigger and better things. Okay, because we have awakening and spotlight here with the Ace of Swords. So I know there is something coming to light this week, and. It's freeing for you somehow, some way. And again, some of you have been waiting for this moment. Like, ah, oh, finally. And it's, man, somebody who just is no fun. I feel, Virgo, it's like they're going to be cut out of your life. Um, or if you've been watching somebody just really be a jerk 
and controlling and manipulative somewhere in the workplace or in another area of your life, it's like spirits coming in to handle that and you're going to feel excited to see that oppressive person removed from some situation, you know. Um, also, those of you where it, it is like some opportunity that you got to keep quiet, uh, I feel like you've got to keep quiet because somebody will try to sabotage it or won't be happy about it or something like it just really give you a, a hard, hard time. Um, and it's just, I don't know, don't even waste your time there. If you've got to keep it under wraps, keep it under wraps. Like you're just better off. And when the moment's right, the moment's right, all will be revealed. So just, you know, go with that. So anyways, Virgo, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.